All right. Welcome back to Playing It Safe. And, you know, in between these weeks that have been passing, there's a lot been going on. And I just came up with this idea that I wanted to really um, talk about a subject that's been it's been heating in my you know, I've been I can't stop getting my mind off this. Right. And it's more about um, first world problems. And I bring it up because so often when I talk to individuals, I talk to a lot of people, a lot of people want to talk to me and, you know, um, I listen and I hear them out and I hear a bunch of excuses and a bunch of complaints, mostly complaints. Oh my goodness. The complaints are harsh. And it makes me really just come up with like, man, this is some first world problem stuff. So, um, you know, I was talking to Austin about this and we were talking about like things that are happening in the world, right? Austin, what's going on in the world right now? Um, there was a terrorist attack in Afghanistan, um, trying to evacuate, uh, U S citizens and Afghanis that have helped out the U S, um, and, uh, ISIS, uh, did a terrorist attack on the airport. And so that's going on. And on top of that in Afghanistan, we have all these, you know, families trying to flee. They, they literally are just leaving their lives just for safety. Like, without any packing or precaution, just taking any kind of paperwork they got and just trying to get out there. Put, you know, people are putting their lives in danger, just trying to leave their, that area. And so that is not a first world problem. Those are some real life world problems, right? We also got COVID, you know, and it's getting worse. And, and some of us believe it's a hoax or whatever. You know, I, I've known some um, close don't say us that implies you (laughs) some some people (laughs) some people but you know i i just i've I've known people that passed from it and um you know it hasn't affected me personally as far as like my health thankfully but it's it's a big thing you know there's there's people really dealing with health issues and just trying to survive you know we have we have that issue um you know us austin and i this one i will include us is you know we've experienced um health concerns with our own children and it it makes us have a different perspective on things that like you know yes like our refrigerator kind of like broke recently and just get that just getting that fixed recently our garage broke like two weeks ago um you know getting those fixed those two you know yes it feels like everything's kind of crashing at some points but at the same time it's always a first world problem you know we have the ability to fix those things um you know we even have those things we even have the yeah that's true we even have those things um you know i leave in the morning we wake up to drop off our kids or pick them you know they have education uh we can walk outside our door and not feel threatened we can go buy groceries at the grocery store and so um you know the whole topic of first world stuff is Having the ability, you know, especially us living in the United States, we have, we're privileged. We're privileged regardless of our, our situation. We have certain privileges and that's so often many people just don't reflect on that. There's hardly any talk about the privileges. You know, yes, we talk about white privilege on this podcast. We talk about different things, but like, you know, all of us in specifically in the U S have privilege privileges that um you know other countries do not have i mean and then going back to afghanistan we're having conversations about you know uh, women probably not being able to get their education anymore you know it's Mm -hmm. been over 20 years and we have daughters and to think about that with our daughters you know like what if that wasn't an option i'm a woman you know what if that wasn't an option and it's just crazy so yeah it's it definitely puts things into perspective there is um like almost to play a little bit of devil's advocate is so I, there was the a podcast i was listening to where they were saying yeah you know let some people complain about like the most m- insignificant things but they said to remember that the worst thing that has ever happened to you is still only the worst thing has ever happened to you so even in those in other people's lives you know, maybe they've lived a very charmed life and some, you know, minor thing happens or at least minor relative to someone else. To them, it's like, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. But they are still 
privileged to have lived in, you know, maybe this country where that they were lucky that that was that infinitesimally small thing was the worst thing that only ever happened to them. Um, so it's it's sometimes for, hard for those people to have perspective. And even though, you know, we live in this country and, you know, we don't, you know, live in Afghanistan where they're having all this stuff. Sometimes you're able to just have that that perspective, just like okay, my things are not so bad here, but not not everybody has that like self awareness. I I've noticed sometimes where I'm like, you do not understand that what's happening to you right now is not that big a deal, but um, I don't know. Sometimes you can't see the forest through the trees, if that analogy makes sense. But yeah, and this topic, you know, came up specifically because you know I. I come home with stories. Well, I guess I'm working from home right now, so I come off the computer with stories. And um, I work in academics, and in academics, um, this is where I've seen it the most, right? I mean, just because I'm exposed to it all the time, um, I hear uh, complaints, and I'm like, why, why, why are we focusing on this? I mean, there's real things going on in the world. I don't understand how can we're investing our our energy or our time in something that you know, like politics or just we're upset that we didn't get what we wanted. And it it really frustrates me and, and blows my mind. And so um, a lot of individuals, you know, when they tell me these things, you know, I listen and, and I be I'm very respectful majority of the time. But um, I think some people think that uh, I, I'm a little cold hearted <laughs> and I don't have some empathy at times because I just have this perspective that that's not a real problem you know uh you still got you know you're still making good money you still got all these other things and so um it also goes into with me talking with the people again back to that is that you know when why you know what are your plans what are your motivations what are your goals and then you know people are like well i was going but then you know this situation happened or you know uh, my car broke down or, you know, and, and again, not, not that those are not frustrating things, you know, but, um, they're still very, very, very minimal. But like Austin said, I guess if that's the, you know, worst thing that ever happened to you, it's still the worst thing that's ever happened to you. And, and that's, that's validating, but you know, it's, it's still hard to, um, you know, I guess because I'm more self-aware of what's going on in the world, it's really hard for me to, to understand that. Uh, for others but it is true it is it is a valid point so with that said is that i was like we got to start this whole first world problem fridays even though you know austin is always looking at me like oh here we go again with her ideas and I'm like this is an opportunity um if people you know want to message us or make comments or you know email us at plain save zero 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 at gmail.com and t tell us your kind of first world problems or things that you hear so we can talk about it and bring it up on Fridays. Why do I believe that's important? Is uh, people always wonder why am I'm, I am so motivated or how do I have the energy or, you know, like what's your secret? Honestly, I always have to talk to myself about Veronica. <laughs> it's the first world problem. Okay, let's get back. Like put your, you know, put your, um, you know, head back in the game because, again, I was raised where even if that's the worst thing that has happened to you, you got nothing to complain about. And because of that mentality, it's really like, okay, if I think of things as first world problems, I, I got to keep going. If I get, you know, um, if an opportunity uh, doesn't come my way and I get down about it, I think of it as a first world problem. I got to just, I have so many opportunities here. I just got to keep working. I got to get, get better. I got to get more creative. So, that's why I want to continue on with that because I think it's just a little reminder to, you know, stop with our our complaints or stop with that. You know, sometimes we get into these really dark holes. And if we can change that mentality that, you know, it's a first world problem thing and really be aware of what's going on in the world, I think more people be, can um, accomplish more and, and have better actions and maybe even have more positive experiences in the fact where maybe there'll be less arguing you know maybe those uh family feuds that come in uh w won't be as big anymore yeah i'm just thinking i'm just i'm a very optimistic person even through it all but um that's why we talk about our first
world problems. So hopefully you all can join us on Fridays as we talk about first world problems. Again, feel free to like, comment, and share. And we want to hear what your first world problems are or what you've heard so we can talk about that and do some quick little um, chats about that. So thank you for joining us today. And we hope to see you all again. See you next Friday. Thank you. Bye.